So today we're going to learn about lenses. So what is a lens, right? Um, if I take a glass slab, if I take a glass slab and I cut out something like this and I cut out something like this, then this region which is left over here, this region is called as a lens. This is called as a convex lens. So how does a convex lens look like? A convex lens looks like this. This is a convex lens. Now, there's another type of lens. So let me say I'm taking a glass slab and I'm cutting out this side and I'm cutting out this side, then the surface which is left behind, what is left behind this part is another type of lens and this is called as a concave lens. So you're getting the difference between a concave lens and a convex lens. In a convex lens, the both sides are bulging outside, whereas in a concave lens, both the sides are curved inside. So we have a convex lens and a concave cave lens a lens is a transparent material you know it's a transparent material you can of course see through it it is bound by two surfaces at least one of the surface has to be spherical so I've just pre-drawn this for you and I want you to understand that these are lenses and uh, the lens is a part of a sphere whether it's a convex lens or a concave lens they are both part of a sphere so this sphere will have a center and this sphere will have a center the center of the sphere whose part this lens is is called as center of curvature it's called as a center of curvature this is the sphere this is the sphere and this is the center and these spheres are part of this lens or so this lens is a part of this sphere so this is called as the center of curvature now there is an exact center point for this lens when i go from the y-axis and the x-axis there's an exact center there's an exact center here as well the exact center that center that center is called as the optical center there is a line which will pass through the optical center and the center of curvature there is a line which will pass through the optical center and the center of curvature that line is called as the principal focus now the convex lens this is the optical center the concave lens this is the optical center the rays of light which comes from infinity the rays of light that comes from infinity will come and converge at a particular particular point they will come and converge at a particular point this point where the rays of light comes from infinity and converges is called as a focus now remember and understand the same focus at the same distance from the optical center is also there on the other side so imagine if the rays of light were coming from this side it would converge at this point so every lens will have two focus the distance between the optical center and the focus is called as the focal length. The convex lens is called as a converging lens because it converges the rays of light. The rays of light comes like this and it converges. It's a converging lens. Now, let's talk about the concave lens. The concave lens, the rays of light comes from infinity. The rays of light comes from infinity. And now they diverge. Now, it, do, it, it just doesn't diverge. When it diverges, it appears to diverge from a particular point point it appears to diverge from a particular point you getting this now th this point is called as the focus the, at the exact distance from the optical center and the focus there's a point here and that is called as the focus so every lens will have two focus the distance between the optical center and the focus is called as a focal length the concave lens is a diverging lens. It's a diverging lens. The rays of light will come and diverge. Here the rays of light will come and converge. Am I clear here? So convex lens, concave lens, converging lens, diverging lens. We spoke about the focus, the focal length. Now I'm going to talk to you about the rules that are important if you want to get your images from a convex lens. Okay. Okay. So now the first one, the rays of light will travel parallel and then it will converge at the focus. 
the second the rays of light will go straight through the optical center and the third it will first come from the focus and then travel parallel so there are three types of rays to draw the ray diagram you can consider any two of this because when two lines will meet you'll get a point and at that point the image will be formed so what's the first ray of light like the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then it is refracted passing through the focus the second one the ray of light is passing straight through the optical center and it passes through the optical center undeviated the third one the incident ray is passing through the focus the refracted ray will pass parallel to the principal axis so we're going to talk about these three rays of light and now we will get into image formation diagrams so we're going to do the very first ray diagram which talks of convex lens being a converging lens so let's take the ray diagram to explain that so step one is to draw a straight line and then put arrows on both sides and call this as a principal axis now anywhere in the center you will take a zero mark it in the center that's going to be your optical center now take three centimeters from here and then take six centimeters from here so three and again three likewise take three and again three cool you can pause the video whenever you want to if, if I'm not coming up to your speed this is video so you can just go as per your learning time style etc now this is your optical center now from here you will take three centimeters up one two three centimeters up and take three centimeters down one two three great now make the lens this is your lens make the lens this is your lens awesome now call this as the optical center O f 2f f 2f awesome great now you have line papers now on the very first line above you can take the first line on the next line take another line do the same down line pe line low phir niche line pe line low awesome now from this point and this point all you do is converge so you do this and you get it down you take this take this get it down take this take this here you go and likewise so you do this now this is a convex lens and you are calling this convex lens as a converging lens because it's converging the rays of light you put the arrow and you get the marks for this you put the arrow you put the arrow you put the arrow you put the arrow one arrow on either side of the lens is important optical center focus rays of light coming from infinity converging at this point and boom this gives you a good two marks so now we are doing um, concave lens is a diverging lens and i'm doing everything same and uh, this is how it goes so concave lens is a diverging lens i've got this line ready called it principal axis from the center i've taken three centimeters three centimeters three centimeters three centimeters so that is going to be f and 2f f and 2f this is my lens which lens are we drawing tell me tell me concave lens so i'm going to take um, the concave lens and i'm going to draw the concave lens so this is how i will draw the concave lens cool this is how i will draw the concave lens now again i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to take the line ke upper, the very first line i'm going to do this the next line i'm going to do this similarly here and similarly here is that okay guys great now what did i tell you it can it diverges so how will it diverge i take this point and i take this point cool now over here i'm going to do dotted lines and here i'm going to take it straight are you with me same this point and the next line here i'm going to take it dotted till the end and from here i'm going to take it straight same over here i'm going to take this point and this point it's going to be dotted till this point and from here it's going to be straight same thing i'm going to do this dotted 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 and from here it's going to go straight so here we're going to talk about the concave lens to be a diverging lens concave lens to be a diverging lens again on both sides of the lens i'll put the arrow one on this side and one on this side so this is how we're going to say the focal length and the concave lens a diverging lens do this diagram and this diagram 
at least three times so that you get a good grip over it, you get a good practice over it. And then I will see you in the next session.